In this brief book cover tutorial, I'm going to cover making a spine for your book, including how to add text to the spine of your book. So stick around. Hey, Write Writers, Keith Wheeler here. And if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing easier, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash that little bell icon so you get alerted each and every time I put out something new. In a previous video, I showed you how to make a book cover in Canva, and I'll include a link to it here. In response to that video, numerous viewers asked how to add a spine to a no-content book cover. Now, just to be clear, whether you're self-publishing no-content books, low-content books, or are an author of a normal content-filled book, the process is exactly the same. I'm going to flip the screen around, and I'm going to show you both how to add a book cover spine in Canva as well as how to add a book cover spine in PowerPoint. So let's get started. Well, here we are in Canva and I've pulled up one of my books. I'm going to click edit. Now here we are in my project. I'm assuming you've watched the video where I showed you how to create a paperback book cover here in Canva. So I'm going to go down to my uploads where I already have my template that I downloaded from KDP and I'm going to make this all the way to the edges. All right, now that I have this, I'm actually going to zoom in so I can see this a little better. The middle right here is my spine. Now my cover itself is black, so I'm probably going to want to put something like white or something that's going to really stand out. I'm going to go to Elements, Shapes, and I'm going to scroll down to one that I like. I'm probably going to do a square. Go with this one right here. Click on it. I'm going to change the color real quick. I'll probably just make it white for now. Yeah, let's go with gray, just so it stands out a little bit against this white background. Zoom in a bit more. Drag this all the way up to the top. Put that right at that line. Drag this to the other line right there. Bring it up higher, just to make sure it's covering all of it. I'm going to go down here, drag this down, and there's the spine. Now, if you're publishing through KDP and your book is at least 100 pages, you actually can put text on your spine. I'm going to zoom out real quick, and we're going to go to text. I'm just going to pick this one, type what I want. We're just going to put my name for now, Keith Wheeler, Control A, and I can change this color to I'm gonna make it pop, I'm gonna make it blue. How about this blue right here? If you want more colors, you just click in here and you can pick any color here or if you know the color code, you can just add it down there. Now, obviously, I don't want it to go horizontal. I want it to go vertical. So first I'm going to zoom back in. Then I'm gonna grab this handle right here. I'm gonna turn it to our vertical. I'm gonna use my arrows to move the text over a little bit. Now, obviously this text is way too big, so I'm going to reduce it. Probably drop it down to about eight points. Now let's go with 10. Okay, 10 looks good. I'll use the arrow to move it in the center. There you go. Now I'm gonna zoom out a bit so I can see where it lines up. Scroll up. If I want it centered, the easiest way to center it is to grab the top and the bottom and put it all the way at the edge. That way it will be centered. But I actually want it to be more towards the top. So I'm gonna click on it and then move it up about there. Again, I'm gonna have to zoom back in so I can make sure it's centered because I moved it off a little bit. There we go. So if you want your name on one side and then I can just copy and paste, control V, and then I'm just gonna grab it. And if I want this to say a title, let's just call it book title. Grab that, put that down here. 
You want to make sure you stay within this pink margin all the way across. Zoom in just to make sure it's still centered. Yeah, that looks good. Now I definitely don't like this gray. So I'm going to click on it. And obviously you can go in and you can change these fonts to any of these font types that you'd like. So I'm going to click on the gray and I'm going to change that to just plain white. Okay. And then now that I'm done with this template, I can either push it all the way to the back by going to arrange and pushing it back, or I can just click on it and hit the delete button and just delete it. And there we go. There's my spine on my book, as well as the text on my spine. Now I'm not really a fan of this color. It's not bold enough. So I'm just going to go bold it. I'll do the same thing here. And if you want to see it at hundred percent, you just click on that. And this is what it will look like at hundred percent. Obviously the more pages in your book, the thicker the spine, therefore you can make the text of the words on your spine bigger. So it's how to add a book cover spine in Canva. And now we're going to flip over to my favorite, which is PowerPoint. And here we are in PowerPoint. Again, I have the exact same book cover up that I started with and I'm going to insert pictures. And this is the template once again, that I downloaded from KDP. Obviously, if you're using something other than KDP, you can download their templates as well, and it will work the exact same way. I'm going to stretch this to cover the entire document. And just like I did before, I'm going to put an element on here. I'm going to go into insert. I'm going to go to shapes. I'm going to grab a square and I'm going to just cover this area right here. It doesn't have to be perfect. The reason why I really like to use PowerPoint as opposed to Canva for this is that if I double click on this, it actually has the exact measurements right here. So instead of me having to eyeball it, I can actually put the exact measurements. So the height of my book, this is a six by nine book. So I, it's going to be 9.25 inches high because it's going to be nine inches high plus the 1.25 bleed on top, 1.25 bleed on the bottom. If this is confusing, check out my video right here where I show you how to create a book cover in PowerPoint and I explain how to calculate bleed and everything else. And I can see right here that it says my spine width is going to be 0.23. So I just changed the width to 0.23. And this is the precise size that my spine needs to be. Once again, I'm going to go to view. I'm going to zoom in. Uh, let's just go right now. It's at 66%. So let's just go to, let's go to 200%. Okay. And I'm just going to place this right there. Now I'm going to go down to the bottom. Perfect. And one thing you want to keep in mind is when you do it in PowerPoint, this shape actually has an outline as well. So I'm going to click on it and right click and go to outline. And I want to make no outline. There we go. And then for the fill, I'm going to make this once again, I'm going to make it white. There we go. Zoom back out. Now I want to add in some text. So again, insert text box, wherever I want to draw it. Once again, I'm just going to type in my name, Keith Wheeler, use this guide to spin it vertically, drag it over. Just like before, this text is going to be too big. So we're going to make it 10 point like we did on the previous and drag it where I want it. Control C, Control V. Put one down here. We're going to make this one book title. We can drag this down to here. Again, making sure that we respect the pink area right here. I'm going to zoom. So go to view, zoom in again to 200%. Make sure it's centered, which this one is not. There we go. It's actually in the pink area. So let me move this a little bit just to be safe. There we go. 
and then we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Do the same thing here. This one, this one actually looks centered. There we go, maybe a little bit more. And it's actually out of the pink area, so I think we're good. And let's move it up just a hair, just to be safe. Okay. I just click zoom to fit instead of going to zoom and then back down to 66%. And then just like before, I'm gonna click on the guide and I'm just gonna hit delete. There you go. How to add a book cover spine in PowerPoint. I'm telling you no content books are all the craze right now. To the point where many people are saying that the market is completely saturated. But did you know that no content books go far beyond the basic blank line journals that you may think about? In fact, I created an entire playlist where I show you how to make different no content interiors both in PowerPoint and in Word. I cover everything from blank comic book pages to graph paper, dot journal paper, and a whole lot more. So click on this video right here and I will show you step by step how to make over half a dozen no content interiors as well as how to add a watermark to make your no content book more unique and really stand out in the marketplace. So go on and check out that video right there or Click on this one and see what YouTube has queued up for you. I'll see you in the next video and remember to write right.